I'm going to try filming this way. See how it works. I don't know if it makes a difference at all, but it's hard to not look at myself. <laughs> so I'll look at myself here in real life and the mirror of real life. Okay. This is actually maybe a good place to do this type of a video because I want to talk about projective identification and that, oof, it's very hard to focus with this. Um, I want to talk about projective identification and I'm having a lot of sort of epiphanies about what it, like the big picture of being in a relationship with somebody who is projectively identifying or using projective identification, um, or maybe another more common way of saying it is just projection onto you. So projection is basically when someone like takes something, uh, that they are, um, feeling and they will, or doing or whatever, or something that's a part of them and they will project it onto you or onto somebody else. And then they will, and projective identification, projection is way, when they do that. And they're like, if, if they're angry, they're like, they'll be like, why are you angry? And you're not angry. And they're trying to sort of just acting as if you are the one that's angry. Or like, if they're cheating on you, they will act as if you're the one cheating on them. And they start getting like suspicious that you are doing it. Um, when really it's you that should be suspicious about them. So that's projection, but projective identification, which I'm not sure how different these two things are, but projective identification is when they just assume, they just treat you as if you are the thing that they have already sort of decided that you are, right? Like it's, it's as if one day they were just like, you know, just to use like me as an example, they could be like, I think like Brianna is like um, a bank robber and they just treat, they don't say it. They don't say like, we think you've been robbing banks and like we have all this evidence and like they don't do that. They just treat you like you are. And so you, it's very confusing because no one's having a direct conversation with you about anything. No one's talking to you about anything directly. They're just treating you as if you are a criminal and that they should be wary of you and like that you are like probably um, dangerous or like that you're lying or you're hiding something from them or that, um, you know, they'll just like skirt around things and like, <clears throat> they're going to like you, you are now that thing and there's no discussion about it or anything. It's just like, you're left to sort of be like, God, did I do something wrong? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? And you're sort of, it's, it's, it can be very subtle right? Um, and so you're kind of like, or they just treat you, like I just said, they treat you as if, or like they're, it could be subtle or it could be like more overt. Like there could be like really like uh, lashing out or like extreme aggression or behavior. And like, uh, you know, you do one little thing or one, one thing. And there's just like an all out attack as if you are just intentionally being whatever they're kind of coming up with in their minds what they, whatever they've already identified you as, like you are this, um, got like about a minute left. So that is projective identification. And one way that I, it helps me to understand it is like an analogy of a, like if someone were to have a virtual reality headset and like literally it's, it's a completely a projection that's going on in their headset, right? Like, and as if like, if the things in their environment just automatically like converted to whatever their headset setting was, right? So like if they're in, like if their setting is like jungle, like dangerous jungle, then like if you walk by, they're like, oh my God, it's a man-eating tiger, you know? And like, so they will just treat you as if you're a man-eating tiger. Um, and there's, it's so confusing because you're like in reality, you're in the real world and they're treating you like you're a man-eating tiger and they're, uh, you know, oh, I'm running out of time. So 